I'm just going to be waiting until we go live. I'm excited and we are going to be going live in the next couple of seconds. I thought we actually just went live, but we're not. And now we are. So I want to say a big, fat, juicy hello and welcome to Vanilla TV. You're watching the ESA Open Cup number three on CP Badlands. My name is Hayden. Joining me today is Adoc. Adoc, take it away. Well, Arbor did fail his sticky jump, so he will be a bit later here on that point. And we can see the other enemy. It is Kaizako, exactly. It is him who is now putting a lot of hurt. The blue team is now in the advantage. Then we see the Storm so just going to jump in. Kaizo is going to take one out, but there's Prop taking one out. Oh, look at that. Prop getting a double kill, but now we have Kaizo with Metal taking one out indeed. And the blue side domination is going to come up. And so, Octo, your funk. They had the earlier advantage in the rollout, and now we can see uh, them getting punished as we see Albert just retreating back to the point. And this is what makes this game so crucial if you fail your rollout once if you just delay your second one just one little second delay and you already lost the point and this is what uh, Octo your funk showed and they punished them so well and they're just gonna take the second point again so Finam is gonna take it up now getting a heal pack and jumping back to the point does not want to give up that easily yeah, Red and Gold went down very early in that mid fight right there, and that would have given them a big advantage. He respawned much before Aero, but he wasn't healing anybody, and any kind of advantage that they were looking to get is completely gone. And now we're going to be seeing Red and Gold. He does have that quick fix, though. They are still going to be running quick fix, and I'm going to be interested to just see what they're going to be doing. Aero still on that default medigun, though. Going to be trying to go for some defense. We're going to see Prop switching on over to Heavy, which is a very typical thing to see defending last, but now that gloves are running urgently, and a couple of different unlocks that are going to be allowed, that's going to allow him to have that, that bit more of mobility and I want to see what happens with that. He's going to be holding up the top left and we're just going to be waiting until uh, Team Octo do actually decide to push in. Yeah, and the, uh, I've never seen a quick fix push, so I'm really excited to know what's going to happen right now. We can see now Renekto, he's get, telling his team to go in. They don't have the Uber now in sort of uh, like a default medical. Oh, look at that, it's a drop! So, Albert just placing a good sticky trap here. He drops him before he could do anything. And that is just going to give him a humongous advantage and confidence boost. Even though Kinti now does take one out, he did get contested. But at what price to the last point? It's going to get captured <laughs> again. So, it could not stop them. The drop could not stop them not cannot delay them it is going to be one nil for team octa your funk yeah kaiser right there the demo man for team octa he was just on one health and he managed to survive out there he took down prop the heavy but it just wasn't enough and then uh, a lot of dem pants just kind of roamed off of that last point and it just allowed uh team octa just to be able to walk under there but now we're going to be seeing the second mid fight of the game we're going to be seeing jabber he's going to be walking up a long valley a lot of team octa are going to be all going uh valley still that quick fix though as uh, as many of you guys know the quick fix is going to allow the medic to jump with the soldier if he does rocket jump but a lot of players going down for team Team Octo, Red and Goat goes down, and everybody else as well. It's just going to be ped out up alive right now, and I want to see what he's going to be trying to do. He's going to be walking onto this point, trying to do a bear damage onto the soldier and the scout, delaying this cap a little bit, but it does get taken down. That's a wipe, and Kaiser's going to be respawning, and Dem Pants are going to be looking somewhat confident onto trying to push onto second. Yeah, I don't think they have really used Quick Fix a lot, so they're just like, you know, we get unlocks, oh, we're so excited, we should just totally use it right now. But you could see that the demo actually jumped in very aggressive, there's also the defense coming out, so uh, Kaizona is a very, very aggressive demo player. He just jumped in and body blocked one rocket, and that is something that he should not be doing as a demo, but he did it, and he paid the price for it, he went down, so his team did not have enough damage and enough pressure to maintain the point and to keep it, and now uh, we can see them on the offensive, it is... Redding Toe, Redding Note, oh yeah, Redding Note, he still has that a quick fix and they're just having fun. Look at them just jumping around the map really and that, that is the fun thing to watch about quick fix and it is pretty experimental but now we have on the uh, bridge end side, the uh, scout's getting a little bit of an engagement, now the jump is gonna come in, Dem Pants is gonna push in aggressively, there's, oh there's a double kill, two simultaneous kills for uh, the blue team, it is up to your funk that is on the offensive right now, they're gonna jump in with the quick fix, it's still active, the demo now, Kaizo is gonna display, display some, a uh, little bit of amount of damage but now uh, we have the uh, uber, Pop, now Java taking one out, Legal also taking one out, and final, Finam is still on the uh, heavy right now. He's gonna go in aggressive onto the point, but Kaizo is also there. So the uh, point is gonna go to Octo Your Funk right now. They're having a little bit of a comeback, and um, let's see what team uh, Dem Pants is gonna do.
Uh, yeah, with that quick fix, it, it was very inter uh, interesting. And Red and Gold got very lucky right there for not being killed because they Ubered with that quick fix, and the soldier rocket jumped in and threw his medic into the enemy team, and he was just very, very lucky on being able to not being killed. But a lot of players going down for Dem Pants right now. Legal, Mantouch, and Albert are all down, and they're going to be waiting to respawn. And uh, Legal's actually going to be timing out. And as we see this, we're going to be seeing um, around equal Ubers. But as you know, Red and Gold is going to be still running that quick fix and going to be able to get that Uber a little bit quicker because it builds quicker. Uh, and now we're going to be waiting to see what happens. The Uber's going to be ready pretty soon. Aero did actually go down, and now it's going to be looking to see Red and Gold to be go uh, to be pushing in. Mantouch is going to be able to go down, and that Uber is 100% ready. Lyric goes down as well, and now it seems like Kaiser should really be looking to push in. Heavy on last. Prop's going to be switching on to Heavy. Uh, not really sure what's going on, just kind of going to be waiting, and I do believe they're going to be asking for a pause right now. Well, this might be it, but I don't think uh, it will be because of a... It might be because of an error. Yes, yes, uh, one player left, so they have to go for the uh, pause any second right now. But uh, on the other hand, they might just commit to the push and use it. But uh, no, he has rejoined the game, so it's not going to be a pause right now. We have Kaiser still laying down a lot of uh, pipes and stickies uh, to just maintain the hurt and the pressure now on the upper-hand side. And we can see now the uh, Octo Yurfang on the offense, and we can see a lot of damage being put down by, by Lyred here onto the right-hand side. He did proc them out somehow, but now Finam is going to go mid. He is, he is not decided to go anyway yet, but he has the running gloves with urgency, and he's just happy with it. A lot of off classes coming out, actually. We can see uh, Lyret is gonna get a pick up the ready dome, and the last point is gonna get contested. Oh, what an utter wipe. We have Man Touch now. He has to back off a little bit. He goes for the demo. Is he going to be able to take him out? And yes, he does indeed. One more meat shot, and Reddington is the only guy remaining right now. So that was a failed Octo Year Funk push, but let's see if Dem Pants can come back into the game. We have now Reddington building up his Uber one more time. The 15% Uber against 100% normal Uber. Oh, this doesn't look good. Yeah, and it's going to allow Dempans just to be able to walk onto Spire right now and probably look pretty confident on pushing straight out. We do actually see Finman switching onto the heavy weapons guy, which could do a little bit of work, but really is a very risky move. Uh, we did actually see a sniper on last uh, just before there, uh, but he wasn't running the cozy camper. I want to see more of these unlocks rather than just the gloves are running urgently and the quick face. Uh, Red in Goat does actually get taken down by a very nice pipe by Alba right there, and that's going to delay the push massively because that's 85% gone. And now it looks like uh, Team Octo are going to be able to push onto the second board. We're going to see Kinty sat on this midpoint. He's sat on mid. He's going to be looking to get a headshot onto that uh, demo man. Albert's going to be going down right now. And it does look like Dempans are going to be trying to push onto second or mid, sorry, but it doesn't go to, it's not going to be happening. Plus, Spire is almost capped. It is almost capped indeed, and they uh, they just wanna they just wanna go for it. They wanna go for the aggressive push right now. Octo, your funk. They're looking for it. Oh, look at that pants! Pants getting man mode inside. Gets the solely. He's going to go onto the medic. Unfortunately, gets taken out in the process. But that was almost a kill or almost a false. So that could have been very very dangerous for them. So good job to the scout. Absolutely fantastic reflexes. It was not enough though. The demo uh, reflexes were a bit faster than him. So now we have Kaiso getting the point and it's going to be the last push again let's see what they can just uh, turn out of the, this one we have an offensive sniper now he just noticed one upstairs he doesn't want to go in through the lobby he's just gonna go through in the middle let's see if he can get a pick now he looks at the point sees a lot of stickies and uh, he's still rotating around he wants to get a pick and he knows that they have still not seen i think uh, i think they still not see oh there he gets spotted he gets spotted and one of them gets dropped so yeah that was a failed sniper push there uh, yeah, and with two players down for Team Octo right now, it could really delay this push a lot. They do have that 100% Uber, and I still believe they are running crits, uh, Quick Fix, sorry. And he does actually drop that Uber as he tries to get out right there. And that's just going to allow Aero to have that 100% normal Medigun Uber and going to be able to push out of this very quickly if they do actually look to. But it does seem like they, they are a bit reluctant, uh, and it could really delay them quite a bit. Legal uh, from Den Pants does actually go down right there, and that Uber's still at 100%, uh, and it does look like they are going to be roaming around up on Balmonts now, and they should really be looking to push out but they do actually lose two players and now there's going to be a heavy walking onto the last point Finman and Kaiser right there just team Octo wrapping around uh, Dem Pants right there and that's going to bring it up to 2-0 it's a 2-0, it's a good advantage to have really, and that is sort of giving them a little bit of a confidence boost and also the uh, uh, confidence to try something new out. Now they're both demo, uh, they're going to be punctual on the point this time, Kaiser not picking up the health pack, he's going to de uh, deploy a lot of sticks now on the right hand side, he does eat a stick himself and now goes back again. Then we have the push now onto the middle, there's the first casualty, oh, the first three casualties actually coming out from out of team, damn pants, and then pants is gonna lose, oh, that's a wipe, that's almost a wipe, oh, so fast, I don't even know what happened, but great work from Solis. 
is really absolutely fascinating. Just jumping in and taking them all out one by one. There's another aggressive push. Now they're heavy being deployed. He's going to go for it. An Afro arrow. Sorry, arrow. He's just trying to keep his teammates alive. And look at that demo. Look at that demo. He's so super aggressive. Absolutely fascinating stuff. The Kaizo just getting a kill by jumping in like a man mode. Meadow is going to take one out. So this is going to be another great push for Team Octo or Fung. They're going to get the second point and then they might even push for the last one since oh oh there's a there's a kill again but um wow they have the uber advantage right now and they're gonna use it yeah i mean that uber was forced very early right there and we just uh lyra up and he's gonna be going down very quickly and that's another round to team octo i mean it's just kind of this idea that they're gonna be able to grab uh, that heavy to mid was something that really won them that mid fight. They were able to do a lot of work right there, and that just paid out in their favor. And that just kind of allowed them uh, to do a lot of damage on mid. The Delman did go pretty huge as well. Kaiser doing a lot of damage, and a lot of players went down for Den Pants very quickly. And that just allowed them to walk onto second. And then that Uber was forced very early, but a lot of their play players did go down in that exchange, so that was all right. And that was a very good half, and they are going to be switching teams, and we're going to be going again live. What do you expect from the upcoming rounds? What do you think should really be coming out uh, uh, from these next few rounds from these teams? Well, I can't really say anything surely, but what I would really wish from Team Tempant to just um, go a bit more aggressive. I mean, we could already see it is um, Alberto. No, sorry, it is Kaizo. Kaizo was so, so super aggressive now onto that one. It was. It was, it was pretty amazing to watch him, I and mean, he man modes inside, gets two picks, and then man modes out again. So that was mostly the uh, factor which won them the team fights in the middle and overall. Now, what I would wish is that um, the unlocks to be used a little bit, because, um, let's face it, um, who is the medic again? Yeah, it's a Reddick down. He was not really sure if he was going to go with the quick fix, or it was the other medic, I don't remember right now, but... Um, he was um, unsure of going and he just kept picking the default medigun and it was a bit too scared to experiment around and uh, the other team of course, the uh, team Octo Your Funk, they were a little bit more ahead in that and sort of said okay we can just jump around, the medic can't be anywhere, a very mobile medic, it is a very good medic if you have a mobile medic because you will, you will get heals and also the heavy push, I've not really seen that many heavy pushes so I'm expecting the other team to take the heavy as well and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with the gloves of running urgently, the mobility is definitely much more enhanced right now for heavies. So heavies have that mobility. They're going to be able to push into last much more effectively. And it does actually look like Finman may actually be taking up permanent heavy because we've seen him do it a couple times and it seems to be working out very well. But if you are just joining us, this is Vanilla TV. This is the ESA Open Cup number three. We have a bunch of unlocks, quick fix, black box, winger, left ranger, and a bunch of other weapons that are going to be used. Gloves of running urgently is another one. And there's a quite a few unlocks that are going to really enhance the way that these teams play. And we're going to be seeing them throughout today. Be sure to stick around on Vanilla TV and have just received word that they're going to be going live very soon. So, personally, my predictions is that uh, Team Octo or Funk is going to be able to take these rounds. What do you think, Adoc? Yeah, I think they're, they're, they're confident. Their team play is better than um, from a team Dem Pants. But, you know, anything can change. I mean, we don't decide the games with just one half. In the second half, is therefore to just calm them down, go through tactics, and they had a player disconnected. So that was also a little bit of a morale debuff. But now we can see Java has picked up the black box. So that's also going to be an interesting thing. One less shot, but also heals. So that can be a very crucial sort of weapon to use in very crucial moments. And uh, uh, when are we going to go live? Did they already say it? Or... Um... I know, they're go I've just seen whether they're going to be going live. So there is about a 90 second delay uh, through STV. And it does seem like Jabba says he's going to be trading for a winger. So hopefully we see some winger action. Of course, that reduced clip size is going to maybe put him off a little bit. But it does actually mean he can jump higher, which may add to his mobility, which is going to be useful. The black box is going to be able to give health, even though you're losing 25% of your clip. So you're losing a rocket, but you're going to be able to get health after you shoot somebody. So that may be, be paying off. I want to see more of these unlocks. I want to see definitely definitely how these teams are going to be using it. Error I doubt is going to be experimenting with Quick Fix at all, but we are going to be going live. This is Vanilla TV, the ESA Open Cup number three. My name is Hayden, joining me today is Adoc. This is CP Badlands. We're going to be going out to the fourth mid-fight. Adoc, take it away.
Yeah, I'm looking at Albert right now. He did not fail his reload this time, so he will be punctual under the point. We can see a spy now, an offensive spy coming out, so that is going to be a really interesting thing to watch. We can see another Solis jumping up in the air. There is going to be a lot of contention under the point. No one has gone down yet, but there is the pipe. Oh, it's a double pipe kill for Proxy. So there is... No, it's it's with the assistance of Proxy, of course. It's Kaizo who gets the kills, but now we can see that uh, up to your funk. They're just looking so super dominant. The spy actually gets one kill before he gets taken out, but that was not enough. Off. So up to your funk, they're looking super dominant now to the middle point. I'm gonna take the second one and the medic just flying in the air with his uh, pocket there. Jabba and the medic himself. It is a good sight to watch, really. It is fun. Yeah, we did see Mantouch taking down the heavy right there. So a lot of damage from Team Octo that we would have been expecting was completely wiped out without that heavy. But it does look like Team Octo are going to be looking very strong. Red and Guts still running that quick streak, uh, quick fix, sorry, and is going to be probably going to be walking into last. We do actually see the engineer being picked up to, to try to defend last. Again, the short circuit is actually allowed now. It doesn't really seem to be paying off too much. So we're going to be seeing Pedal getting behind this soldier, missing a few shots, but that's okay. We're going to see Finman going to be trying to rock into last right now. Just three players up for Dempants, but also just three players up for Team Octo. And it doesn't seem like anything's going to come out of this. Finman is still trying to stay and still trying to do a bit of damage. The point is also close to being capped, but it does look like Finman is going to have to fall back, but Kaizo, the down man, just manages to walk on the way, and that's the fourth round in a row to Team Octo uh, Funk. Yeah, they're looking very strong. I mean, just look at their rollouts right now. They're, they're just so super organized. They know where to go, and uh, Team Tim Pants, I don't know what they're doing. They have a spy and a sniper, so a double off class in the middle. That is going to be noted, and not only that, it's going to give them a damage disadvantage overall, and Reddington is going to jump up with his uh, pocket soldier out to the point. He does lose a lot of HP. There is actually a kill and a pick coming up. A Jabba is going to jump up. He did not want to use his uh, black box again. He just switches to the default. Um, rocket launcher, but they will be getting the point. So we have now uh, Team Dem Pants retreating, and oh wow, that was an uber saw kill onto Prop. So Prop is gonna go down, and it's going to be Octo Your Funk yet again who take the middle point and might even finish this one off if they don't watch out. Yeah, Redding got, uh, does have that 100% quick fix, and there may be a little bit of contention onto this uh, Spire right now, but I don't think Dempants are going to probably be looking too confident on doing that. Redding has been thrown off that Spire again, jumping around with that Soldier, with that Demon, being able to fly around is very interesting. Man touched, sticking with that Spire. I want to see if he can get anything done right now, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Enough Props taking down Kaiser right then. That does actually manage to take down Legal, and it does seem like uh, Team Octo uh, Funk are going to be able to grab this this spire right now and it should look very confident on pushing out we're gonna see man touch decloaking behind the medic he's gonna try and go for the backstab but he does actually get taken down by finman and the rat stick is on last but there's only two players up so i want to see exactly how the rest of his team want to try push into last Oh, they have to pop the Uber right now. They're going to go in with the full damage there. Here we can see Legal now trying to desperately do something. But oh, there's the Pyro! There's the Pyro! Oh, he almost got the clean. Well, that was just a GG well play already being written down. So that was a pretty, pretty... A fast game. I didn't expect it to go that fast, but as we can see, Octo Your Funk, they're really organized, and Dem Pants, they still lack the confidence that Octo Your Funk had to bring in the middle point, and uh, well, it was a good game overall. Yeah, that was, uh, it was, there was a few places where Dem Pants did actually look somewhat strong, but it just looked like Team Octo uh, Funk didn't manage to take that. So that's going to be a 5 0 win to Team Octo uh, Funk. So they're going to be progressing. And now we're going to take a short commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to be watching 425 versus Lutu Set. Don't go anywhere. Today is going to be a great day of Team Fortress 2.